This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, the day, is it the day before New Year's, technically? New Year's, New, New Year's Eve. Eve. The day before New Year's Eve. Um, New Year's Eve, Eve. New, this is New Year's Eve, Eve. So what we wanted to do is something to kind of get you thinking about a couple cocktails. So this cocktail and the next cocktail are going to use cocktail glasses. Um, I don't know, for some reason, New Year's Eve, it's either going to have champagne flutes or cocktail glasses. Those seem to be... What most people do. So this is going to be probably a sweeter drink, I think. It's called the Golden Nail. Um, this was not really submitted. It was submitted by the publicist, but the mixologist for Drambuie who created this, uh, Anthony Caporelli, uh, is a mixologist that's got a lot more experience than I'll ever have. And he came up with this, what I would like to consider a simple drink. Now, they sent me a bunch of them, but this one I liked because it was simple. It's got two ingredients, Drambuie and Baron Jaeger. If you can get both those ingredients, you're good to go. This alcohol has more than two ingredients. Yeah, right. It has one extra ingredient. It has half half a lemon, a juiced lemon. Um, this is a honey liqueur, produced and bottled by Tuck and Koenig, GMB, Baron. What is it? Really? I, you're going to sit there and read who it's bottled by? Oh, that was a pretty cool name. Um, but you should be able to find this. It's, there's, it's sort of like... The honey version of Jägermeister. You're selling it. It's sweet. I like it. And it's got a cool bottle design. So we're going to do two ounces of Drambuie and a half ounce of this. So let's do the Drambuie first. I think we had this at the Drambuie welcome party. No, we had a rusty nail. We had a rusty... No, but we had like... <laughs> we had a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I, I think this was either one of them or it was, it was a Rossi Nail, Golden Nail. They had all their lineup of drinks there. All their nails? All their nails. And I don't remember which ones we had. Not because I had too many, but because they had a lot of different it's hard ones. hard to tell which one was which. Yeah. Because they were just passing them around to people and you're just like, I'll take whatever you got. What is it? Then later you find out after you've already consumed most of it what it actually was. They even had an app, didn't they? <laughs> that, uh, they did have an app. You could... They asked you questions, and then it said what drink you should have. Yes. It, yes, it was a questionnaire, and at the end, you're, you're supposed to be able to pick the Drambuie drink that was best suited for you based on a series of questions. questions. Also known as a neat little and you did PR it. gag. I did, I, and I bet you Golden Ale was the winner. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it was some red drink. Yeah, that, that was a rusty nail, wasn't it? No, I don't think so. Rusty nail probably is red, but I don't think that was it. It should be. Spritzed everywhere. F. Effervescent. Effervescent. <laughs> it effervescented it everywhere. I don't think that's a verb. No. Making a huge mess, too. It effervescented it on me. All right, let's sh- not shake that right now. Let's shake it up now. Oh, wait, this says, shake until frosty cold. All right. Shake it till you actually start getting dizzy because it's so cold on your hand. Well, that's because of that shaker. It it is. I want to actually, I got this cool thing. I think we got this at Tails, too. Yeah, I did. Tails 1. See how cold it is. All right. Do you think it's really 60 degrees? How long do you think it has to wait? It's still counting. 43. Oh, it's going down. So I frosted my... That's one easy way if you want to... If you don't want to put these in the refrigerator. Because I did have some people write in saying you can... I thought glass would explode if you put it in the refrigerator. No! Freezer. Freezer. It definitely won't explode in the refrigerator. It will not explode in the freezer. Maybe if you hit it against something, it would break maybe easier. I don't really know. 33.3. 33.2. Sucker's still going down. So someplace near 32, which is close to freezing. freezing. We did it. That seems you, like a... Is that in Fahrenheit? Yes. Okay. 
I could put it in Celsius if you want. It's 0.9. So that, cool. uh, that would probably be considered frosty. Yeah. And I, you're supposed to. There's a, a good, like, temperature to get your drinks to. I'm going to look it up and then try and duplicate it. If you're, if you're wondering, if you want to make it perfectly to spec. To spec. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do, there's a lime. No. There's a lemon on the table. There's a lemon on the table. There's records on my fingers. There's records on my fingers. All right, so what I'm going to do is make a little twist for it. Did you already squeeze half your lime? My lemon? <laughs> now you have me saying lime. Did I already squeeze it? Yeah. Yeah, it's over here. I use a separate... I, <laughs> I think it... <laughs> I think I'm breathing in lemon juice. Effervescence. Effervescence of lemon juice. Um, yeah, I, what I did is it was a little studio magic. <laughs> I uh, used an already cut lemon. I've got like three over there. You're so tricky. I am... I. It's like... I'd like to look at this as having the production quality comparable to that of, like, say, Steven Spielberg's Gremlins. Oh, yeah. Easily. Without the microwave scene. I want to hang that right on the edge right there. That is what makes a cocktail for New Year's because it looks awesome. Oh, fancy. Fancy. You can you can use lavender was the other option, but keep it in the common man style. I don't even know where you get lavender. I know where you get lemons. Lavender at the lavender store. Right. You know, for like rose petals. This smells, yes. And lavender. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't even know. I saw your face. You're like, I feel like I'm him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this smells really good. I, it's got a lot of like lemon zesty because it's all kind of around the glass, but I'm getting something else. Honey. Like it's sweet, huh? Honey. Honey, maybe it's honey. Ooh. It's both sweet and sour. This stuff's super sweet, but it's counterbalanced with this this lemon. Here's the one I used in case you wanted to see it. It's been exhausted. It's tired. Uh, it's very well balanced. And I... I like that. What it does is with that nice balance of the sweet and the sour, you're getting in two separate phases, you get much more than drambuie, the core of the, the spirit, which is nice. So if you like drambuie or you want to experience drambuie, but not just by itself, because that's kind of boring. This is a good cocktail for those that are looking for some sweet and some sour for New Year's or any time, depending on when you're watching this video. So there you go. That is the golden nail. Definitely golden. Definitely tasty. I'm still going to push it towards the sweet factor. So if you if you like sweet drinks, good to go. EverydayDrinkers.tv. Happy New Year's Eve Eve. Yeah. No, we're teaching you how to drink. Mm. We're teaching you how to drink. I was getting into my drink. Oh, I see. You weren't, you weren't going to do the, the outro. I was just going to like sit here and let people watch me sip on my cocktail. Yeah, exciting. I know. You can stop it now. Okay, then. I'm gonna. I, I'll get up.